Well, hello. Welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do an Aquarius love prediction reading for September 18th through September 24th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading and my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decided to give me a subscription or a like thank you in advance if you do let's see what's going on with my lovable fun kind sweet giving aquas show me spirit guides what's going on my Aquarius? let's see aquarius is what you got going on show me spirit guides four of swords Three of Wands, Eight of Swords, Two of Wands, Oof, and the High Priestess. Aquarius, you're trying to release yourself from someone, someone um, that you've been with for quite some time. You're, you're in love with this person, though, and you're trying to you're trying to release yourself from them. So you you you, you in essence have said, you know, it's 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 done here right here. There's four of swords. You, you see how she's sleeping that four of swords. You're saying it's over. I'm taking a time out. I'm trying to do me trying to get to know me trying to build a future for me because here's this three of wands three of wands means you're looking into the future you know you're trying to figure out you you're absolutely trying to figure out you you are done you you told this person that i think uh, i'm over it's done it's, it's it's done because whatever this was or whomever this was um it, it was not the i don't think it was the right kind of relationship and i'm going to tell you in a minute why i say that but here's a four of swords here and you're trying to release yourself from a situation i think this was a situation ship too and I, i'm just being honest i think this was entanglements i think all of the above i don't think this is a type of relationship that can take you anywhere and you're desperately trying to release yourself because here's this three of wands you're looking into the future trying to figure out what next what can i do next you're trying to release yourself from a situation i see the eight of swords is in the middle of the reading on that eight of swords means every time you try to let go every time you try to let go of someone it's an addiction to them and when i say an addiction i should never let the, it's not really an addiction it's more like you keep coming back to them your mental space will not release from this person um you know that you're not supposed to be with them but you see these your mental space your mental space will not let you go you can walk away at any time you can leave this alone at any time but your mental space keeps pulling you back to this person but i see here with this two of wands it's like you you want a new beginning you're beginning to get it together you want a new beginning but you know you've been going through it um because that your mental space keeps pulling you back to a situation that is simply not good for you and let me tell you why i know it's not good for you i see the high priestess here my high priestess means to me the other woman you have been the other woman possibly to a relationship. Someone either has been married or is in a long-term commitment and you've been their sneak away. You've been there, you've been their duck, their duck and dodge and you're, they're hidden. Their secret love affair. This was a secret love affair or this is a secret love affair. But I believe that you're trying to release from this secret love affair and good for you. Because they mean you no good. We've all made mistakes. I'm not here to judge. But you need to release from this secret love affair. This is a secret love affair. It's hard too. You have, left, you have to have a lot of courage. You have to have a lot of strength to remove yourself from this, uh, excuse me, from a secret love affair. Now, if this is your read, please sit back, relax. I am going to clarify the reading for you. I'm going to see what the spirit guides are saying. I'm going to clarify the reading and see. Just sit back, relax. Um, and give me three to five minutes and let me cl clarify this reading for you. 
um, show me spirit guides. Why is this four of swords here for my Aquarius? Says, show me why the four of swords is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the four of swords here for my Aquas? Death, transformation. You are trying to desperately get out of a situation that is not good for you. You are trying, you are transforming your mind, your heart space. You are trying very desperately. Here's this four of swords, and, and I have the death card. The death card also can represent a Scorpio sun sign, um, which means to me this probably, it's a secret love affair. So it's probably was, the intimacy was probably very good. Um, if this was a Scorpio, it could have been very, very good. Um, but I'm just saying that you're making a transformation. You know, you know this person is not going to leave their significant other. You have been the person that has been their getaway, that their their secret uh, love affair. It's just a secret love affair. So let's see why the three of wands is here. Because see, what you want is you want a life. You don't have life with them. You don't have love with them. Yeah, you might have love. You think you, I'm not saying you don't have love. Let's not say that. I'm not saying the person doesn't love you. But the person is not committed to you. They're committed to someone else. So let's see why the Three of Wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Three of Wands here? I told you, look, you want a new beginning. This fool card, you're ready. You want a new beginning. You want to be out of this. I just feel your energy saying, I'm going to get out of this. You want a new beginning. This Three of Wands over this Three of Wands. You want a new beginning. The fool card, you're saying, I want a new beginning. And not with you. I want a new beginning. You see how the fool card is looking at this uh, death card, the transformation card? You want a new beginning. So let's see why the eight of swords is here. Show me, spirit guides. Why is the eight of swords here? Oh, look at that. Queen of cups. You're so kind, Aquas. You're very, very kind. You're very giving. You've been there. You've been there right or die. It's like um, they have a piece of your heart. That is why it's so hard to release from them. This is someone that you've known for a long time. This is not a new secret love affair. You have given to them. You've always, when they text, you always were there for them. You were like living a secret life with them. But they're not yours, Aquarius. They're not yours. But you've been their queen of cups. That's why this eight of swords is here. That's why it's hard to release. You're very kind. You're very generous. And remember what the eight of cups... A lot of times the Eight of Cups, um, a person that has the Eight of Cups energy, sometimes people take advantage of you because you're just so good and so kind. Because sometimes people walk over you because they take your goodness for granted. But it's up to you. But every time you try to release from them, every time you think you've gotten them out of your system, this Eight of Swords is here. And you feel trapped in this energy here because you have been a queen of cups to them. Because you know you have been their landing place when things were going crazy. Um, you have fallen in love with them. And like I said, this is nothing new. This has been a, a love affair that has gone on for quite some time. You are the queen of cups to them. You are the queen of cups and it's very difficult. That energy is very difficult to break. So let's see why this two of wands is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the two of wands here? Oh, wow. Two of Cups. Wow. Next to the Queen of Cups as well. And this Two of Wands. Ugh. It's hard, to. It's hard, isn't it? It's extremely hard because the Two of Cups means you've loved this person. You have, the, you have unity with this person. You guys get each other. You get each other. You just get each other. There's love here. There's, um, it's, it's like it's a very intimate relationship as well, but they're not yours. And they have not made the commitment to be with you. They come up with all different things, though. Hey, maybe they have children. I'm waiting for my child to get out of uh, high school. Then there'll be college. I mean, what? Th they come with different things. But, you know, this is a very difficult relationship, secret love affair, for you to get out of. But like I said, the two of wands, you're trying to start over. But you're starting over with some, and, and you have all these emotions, all this energy. That's why this eight of swords is here. You have all this energy. How do you m move away from them? Let's see why this high priestess is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the high priestess here? Show me spirit, guys. Wheel of fortune. Wheel of fortune. Well, I'm going to tell you what I see. When I see that Wheel of Fortune, this was a karmic relationship. It's a karmic relationship because it's something that you had to learn from this relationship. That Wheel of Fortune is there, and it's over the high priestess. Um, you had to know what it, have to, you had to learn from this secret love affair. This was karmic, absolutely karmic. 
Um, that's exactly what this relationship is. It, it was a karmic relationship. There was something that you needed to learn. And I strongly believe that you needed to learn that people are going, when people show you who they are, believe them first and foremost. Um, and when you keep give, give, giving, and, and people keep telling you, telling you, telling you, they're going to leave someone, they're going to do something, and they don't, you need to understand that. So you don't get caught up in this type of relationship again. Let's start at the beginning. Four swords, there's a breakup. There is a breakup here. Um, the breakup, um, because you know that this is not going to be what you want. You're coming to that realization. So you're saying, let me pull away. Let me, let's break up. Because you're not going to give me a commitment because you're committed to someone else. It's a secret love affair. Death card is here. This is a transformation. You're making a transformation because you know that's what is going to be good for your life. Death card can also represent a, a Scorpio a sun sign. You're looking in the future. You want a future. You know you're not going to have a future with this person. Here's the full card. You want a new beginning, but it's very, very hard because Eight of Swords is here. You've been with this person for quite some time, and every time you think that you're over them, this energy comes back. It's hard to release this energy. There's a Queen of Cups there. Queen of Cups, you've been there ride or die. You've been there with this person for a long time, perhaps even since high school, and you're well beyond that now. You've known this person. You've been their secret lover for a long time. Um, and they, you, they have a piece of your heart and, and, and fortune, and, and I'm going to say you do have a piece of their heart as well, but because you're so kind and generous and you just took this, they're not willing to make any changes. They tell you different things, but Hey, and like I said, it might be things like, Oh, I'm waiting for it that I'm going to be with you when my kids get up and grown or get out of the house. I mean, all sorts of things, but th then here comes another baby. His wife is, or his significant other, even if it's not his wife or someone else, they are pregnant with someone else. I mean, those type things. This person is comfortable because you've always given them. Two of Wands, you're trying to start over, but there's this strong energy that you have with this person. That Two of Wands energy, that loving each other energy, that unity energy, that energy that's been there for quite some time. That very, It's a very a seductive energy as well. You are the high priestess, and I say you're the secret woman, the other love, the secret love affair. This is a karmic relationship because that wheel of fortune is there. Something you had to learn. It was passionate, very passionate, but it was something that the universe had to teach you. And I think you've, you've learned your lesson. You know now. You know not to get involved. You know not to um, put your energy into someone else that is not going to give you what you need and what you want. So let me see. What do my oracles have to say? Show me, spirit, guys. What do my oracles have to say about this? What do they say? Well, off the top, let go. Let go. Let go of this because it's not It's not good. It's not good for you. It's not helping you. It's not helping you. And you know what they also say? And this is, this is one of my favorite cards to pull. Big happy changes. Your life will evolve. Your life is changing.